Hello everybody, and this is Big Z Gaming. I'm here to do a Let's Play of Europa Universalis 3 Divine Win. Let's get started. As you can see, the starting date is 1399. And we can choose absolutely any nation in the world. There is no limit to what nation you can choose. And the closer this blue bar here, this is the difficulty bar. The closer this, the blue bar is to the this baby symbol, the easier it is. The, closer it is to the skull and crossbones, the harder it is. This shows their um, their religion. These guys are Sunni Muslims, Muslims, Christians, they're Catholics. These guys are Orthodox. You can, and this is their um, military out of five stars, the yeah, out of five stars. Military is how good their military is, economy is their economy and diplomacy is their relations with everybody else. As you can see, France is a pretty easy nation to play as. There's um, a bunch of Japanese guys you can play as. Oh, man. Playing as actual Japan would be really... Wait, why are all these difficulties so high? Hmm. Yeah, the Ming's just easy because it's so huge. But for this LP, we're going to be playing as England. But first, let's get our playing options. Advisors, normal. Leaders, I'm set to historical. Colonists, normal. Merchants, normal. Missionaries, normal. Inflation, uh, there is no inflation. I just can't play with inflation. I've only played for like 15 minutes on this game. But I just, um, I just can't have... Inflation. Difficulty is normal. AI aggressiveness is normal. Spread of land provinces is 50. Spread of sea provinces is 25. Spies are normal. Lucky nations. None. We'll accept these rules. There's a plenty of... Well, we are going to play as England, but I'm going to go overview in some of the bigger and more important nations. Poland and Lithuania are in a personal union, I believe. And these guys can be pretty tough. But of course, they have bad land. Over here in Western Europe, that's where the real good land is. The Ottomans typically um, take over this region. They typically beat back the Mamluks. But sometimes the Mamluks survive. Timrids, they collapse normally. The Ming... I, I have seen LPs where the Ming just get huge... But they do, um, they are destroyed. Manchu may, are destroyed by the Ming. Korea is taken by the Ming. Japan is typically unified at some point. India is just a mess. Nothing really important in these, in, um, Africa. And these guys all just get destroyed by the superior European peoples. Spain normally wins. Granda is just... It's, it's got no hope, you know. <laughs> it's the last Muslim stronghold on Spain. But for this game, we are going to play as England. Hello, everybody. And as you can see, we're on the uh, the main interface screen. I don't know what it's called. Um, we're just going to do basically an overview of all the components in this episode. So um, here we have the terrain map mode. Which, as you can see, it's really well, it's well detailed. It's real pretty to look at. And you can see the terrain of basically every place that you know of. Switzerland has its mountains. The mountains between France and Spain. Or Castile. The snowy Russia and Scandinavia area. And the deserts of Northern Africa. Um, here we have the religious map mode. As you can see, we are Catholic. All these guys are Catholic. What is this? Animist? Hmm. And this is... We don't... Shamanist. We're Catholic. We're deep in Catholic territory. And we, we don't really need to worry about any of these other religions for quite a while. Here is imperial map mode. This... This basically shows the Holy Roman Empire, which is right here. 
See, these are all the electors. And these electors are shown on the screen by um, this light. Sort of lighter than the rest of it, green. And then as you can see, Bohemia is the emperor. So it highlights Bohemia in an even greener, or light greener color. Here we have the trade map mode. This shows where we're trading through. Most of England is trading through Lubeck, which is over here because we're in the Hanseatic Trade League. See? It's always good. Uh, then we have diplomatic map mode. This this green right here is us. We are England. We got some stuff here. We got some stuff here. And um, this lighter green, this sort of teal color, is our allies. And um, that may be... And if we were, we were at war with anybody, there would be red. Here we have the region map mode. Not very useful. It just basically shows you the different regions. Not really helpful. Yep, it's not real helpful. I have the culture map mode. As you can see, there's British, and then in parentheses, there's Scottish and English. And these both fall under the British culture category. But as you can see over here in Wales and Cornwall, they have um they fall under the Welsh subculture in the which is under this Celtic. So all of these guys, Brittany, Wales, Cornwall, and Ireland all fall under the Celtic. And this is Germanic with its subcultures, French with its subcultures, Iberian with its subcultures. Everything has subcultures. Then we have our sphere of influence. I'm not too real. I'm not good at this. I have no idea what it means. I, I just have no idea. Here we have the revolt map mode. This shows um, our likelihood of revolt. The redder it is, the more likely it is to revolt. We have a, a really high amount of revolt risk in Wales because apparently we recently annexed them. And that that is a problem. It, it, it cools down after a while. Here we have the colonial map mode. Not really important. As we you can see, we have a really bad colonial range. It's just horrible. And over here we have trade winds. Trade winds either help or hurt your um your colonization. See Portugal, if it tried to colonize oh America, it would have a hard North America would have a hard time because these trade winds are pushing against it. But it would have an easier time going down to South America because of these trade winds pushing that way. Here we have the papacy, and this is um. This is really useful. We have the highest cardinal chance, yet we have, because 7% out of all these guys, yet we have no cardinals. Portugal has two. They're not even on this list. Burgundy has one. Bavaria has two. I mean, this is just stupid how we have none. What's this? Providence? Uh, here's our popal influence. I can't remember how to... Um, Raise that up, but I, I think there's a way. Here we have um, some of these. We have military messages. And we have this, our log. I'm going to keep the log closed for most of the, the time. I'm going to spend most of this LP in the political map mode because I just like it the best. And we have the go to capital button and the go to national focus. But right now, our national focus is our capital. Providence decision. And all merchants. Huh. Uh, one of our main goals will be to establish um, a center of trade in London. We are not. We are part of a trade league, so we can't do that. But we will, like, temporarily get out of the trade league so we can build it. So, yeah. Then over here we have our manpower. As you can see, we have 20,000 manpower. Stability, which is plus one. 
and it goes to plus three and then minus three. The higher your stability, the better. It affects just about everything. Over here we have our do cats apparently, but I'll I'll probably just call it gold. Here we have our prestige, which is it's always useful. Let's go tap prestige. Then we have infamy. If you go over 34 infamy, as you see, it says zero out of 34. It's just really bad. You don't want to go over that infamy limit. Then we have our legitimacy, just how right our heir has to claim the throne. Here we have our um, our merchants, our colonists, our diplomats, our missionaries, our spies, and our magistrates. Um, merchants are used to do merchantly things like, I don't know, sell stuff. Colonists are used to colonize. Diplomats are used to use diplomacy. You, ne you need ha to have diplomats. Dipl having diplomats is incredibly important. Missionaries are used to convert people. We won't really need to mer worry about that much. Spies are used to spy on people and mess things up for the enemy. Um... Magistrates are used to make provincial decisions. It's always useful. And, um, I will be back in a second. I have to do something. Um, sorry about that. I, I, um, needed to do something. Um, here we have our, um, messages. And, um, here we have our ledger. And it, it shows us statistics on... Uh... Absolutely. Okay, you know, I'll I'll figure out how to use the ledger. Then <laughs> come back to you in the next video. Um. Um. He, this is our income over here. Yeah. So I'll show you the rest of this stuff in the um, next part of the LP. So um, this has been Big Z Gaming, and goodbye.